Hey guys, welcome to another Makeup Graveyard. Today we are sorting through all of my bronzers. I had 31 bronzers to begin with and I am getting rid of more than half, which means I'm getting rid of 16, so barely more than half. And I have some really beautiful bronzers that I'm gonna be passing on to girlfriends or sisters. They just didn't work out for me or I have similar of and I just don't need this many bronzers on hand. So here we are again, narrowing the collection down. Also, it is giveaway Friday, which means I'm giving stuff away. And this week I'm gonna be giving away my top three current favorite bronzers. I'm gonna do three sets. All the details will be below in the description box. I hope you enter, happy giveaway Friday, and let's get started. P.S. If you are distracted by the dark lipstick on my face, which I never wear, I never wear, I kind of, I keep looking in the mirror and I'm like, ooh, I hate it. Ooh, I love it. I just, I cannot decide. But this is from uh, Milani. It's Enchanted Ruby. I did a review on some brand new drugstore products yesterday. I will link that below as well. And what do we think? I never wear lipstick like this. I feel like Elvira. I feel like I'm I'm staring at all of this bronzer and I'm like, I need bronzer on my face now because bright lipstick tends to make me look really pale. Anyway, rambling be gone. Let's get started. A lot of these bronzers I really think are beautiful. I just really don't need duplicates. And for me personally, I like matte bronzers more than shimmery bronzers. However, you can use shimmery bronzers all over the body. If you want to do a very natural all over glow, you can do that so long as there's not a crazy amount of shimmer involved. And this is one that I think my sister Sabrina would really like. I just imagine this would look really beautiful on her. And I've only used it once. It is a bronzer from Stila. It is a powder that you grind up by twisting this handy little piece right here. And it's very shimmery. The consistency is great and I just don't reach for it. So it's gonna find a new home. And then also I'm getting rid of one of my Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzers from NYC. I don't need two of them. I've got to stop compulsively buying the things that I love even when they're on sale. Like I feel like I'm past that point in my life now and I only need one of these. So the other one is saying a bye bye This is a product that I never even opened. Shame on me. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral. This is a great example of using a pressed powder as a bronzer. You can always grab a matte pressed powder a few shades darker than your own skin tone and just use that to bronze up the face. Also a great way to sculpt out the face because pressed powders are more likely to have zero shimmer in them whatsoever. And this is just, it's not even opened. It's finding a new home. Another bronzer that I'm passing on that I really, really love, but for some reason there's an ingredient in here that breaks me out, which is so, like it's so aggravating because some of the products that I really, really love do not agree with my skin. And I think we all run into that from time to time. But I do want to say this bronzer, the consistency, the color is gorgeous. This is the High Dive from Bare Minerals and it's just beautiful. But there is something in here that does not, it clogs my pores. Like I just, I don't know if it's just like bad timing, bad luck, but I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't want anything to break me out. So if I even sense that it's going to break me out, it's on its way somewhere else. This one right here from Sonia Kashuk, I actually do like quite a bit. However, it is in competition with a Lorac bronzer. This is the hot and spicy bronzer. And look how similar they are. They are basically the same thing. They have a little bit of a sheen, not a crazy shimmer, but a little bit of a sheen. And you can mix the two shades together and use it as a beautiful bronzy pink blush, or which doesn't make much sense, but you guys get it. Um, or you can just use the pink side as blush and the brown side as bronzer. But I really love both of these. I just, again, I'm really trying to clear out the clutter. Another bronzer I'm getting rid of that has kind of a companion. This is like the shiny version. This is the matte version. This one right here, Inspire, is one of my holy grail, absolute love, love, love. I love this bronzer. It is awesome for setting your makeup even. It is not very strong. It is buildable. It is matte. It is just, it's so good. Um, however, this one right here, which is the multicolored bronzing powder is a little bit too shimmery and it has a different consistency. 
This one is a little more chalky, whereas this powder is a little more finely milled and smooth. So I'm getting rid of this guy and holding on to this one for dear life. This is super hilarious because the cargo swimmables are incredible. They are some of my favorite blushes and they really do stay on. Like if you are in the heat and you are sweating or you are in the water, it really, really locks into place. And this guy right here, which I have used in a tutorial, I actually almost prefer as an eyeshadow that is really, really intense in staying power. Um, or I like to use it as a bronzy blush because it is very, very shimmery, but there's something about it that I do really, really like. And um, I actually bought this one first because I was swatching it in the store and I was like, oh, I love it, I love it. And this, I can't open to save my life. I wish that I could just like pass this to one of you guys and be like, hey, can you help me out? Because this will not open. James can't open it. I've used one of those like can opener, like clamp down, try to twist it off type things. I am just throwing this away because it has been like a thorn in my side. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, oh, I can't believe I can't open that. And I don't have the receipt. So whatever. It's a whole thing. I got another one. It's okay. I also really love the Balms Bahama Mama. This is just adorable, A, and B, this is an excellent product to contour with. It's really deep in color and has a very chocolate undertone, so there's nothing orange about it, and I'm keeping it. If you have oily skin, this product is incredible. It's actually a mattifying bronzer, but it's not cakey like it doesn't go on cakey it has a nice creamy finish to it and it's also going to help prevent oil from disturbing your makeup and i just i really really do love this product more so in the summertime because i feel like it works well with heat and when your skin warms up but it's a beautiful chocolatey color as well and that's from jouet my number number one favorite bronzer from physicians formula is the bb bronze booster Oh my gosh, so many skin tones can use this. It is very light and buildable and chocolatey and smooth, and it has a tiny little bit of golden shimmer in there, but it does not show up in a crazy way at all. It just kind of enhances whatever tan you have, and it goes on really smooth. It won't make you break out. It is one of the best drugstore bronzers out there. This is in light to medium. They do have a darker variety as well. And then I wanna show you guys two palettes that I've been reaching for that have bronzers in them that I can't purchase as single bronzers that I love quite a bit. In the Lorac Pro To Go, the matte bronzer in here is just, you cannot screw this bronzer up. If you are not good at makeup and you want to wear bronzer, but you keep running into that issue of it looking blotchy and splotchy and muddy, this bronzer is magic. I love it probably more than I love anything else in this little kit. I reach for this bronzer all the time. And then I recently picked up the CC Radiance palette from It Cosmetics because you guys know I'm really into their brushes right now, so I tried this as well. And this guy right here, we can see it doesn't say it anymore, like I've been really like digging in there. Um, this is a beautiful bronzer and it almost hydrates the skin, like it has this silky texture, it's an anti-age bronzer, it's long wearing, the formula is just really excellent, and the other two products in here are really good too, so I love that. And last but not least, Becca bronzer. This is in the top three. This is definitely going to be one that I am giving away. I am going to purchase three of these and this is a sculpt and bronze product. So you have a matte side and you have a shimmery side and it is a mineral based bronzer. It blends beautifully. I bought this in Vegas and hauled it there and I've been using it so much that we can almost see I'm about to get to pan. It's a beautiful product. Becca powders are impeccable. They are beautiful. They blend evenly, smoothly. They wear really well, and I am a big, big fan. I'm a big fan of a lot. I'm keeping 15. Also, the other two bronzers that I'm giving away. So I'm giving away the Becca one. I'm going to give away the Jane Inspire, and I'm going to give away the Sonia Kasha Cream Bronzer. So I figured there's a little bit of high, low, matte, and cream shimmer, like a little bit of everything there. So I will be giving away three sets of those, and you can enter very easily. Check the description box below for details, and I hope you do. And yay for bronzers and safe sunning and, you know, wear your SPF. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Mwah.